Hello folks, today we are going to talk about an interesting topic called as S3 pre-signed URL. Let us think of an use case where you have an application online and your users are coming and filling up the up for application form and after successfully completing the application form they want to get a PDF copy of that fully submitted application. Then what you can do is your application can generate a PDF object and put it into an S3 bucket and give your users access to that S3 object for a temporary period of time. Remember you don't want to make the object public so that everybody can access it because only one user who is owning that form should have access to it. So no public access for the bucket, no public access for the object and you also don't want to share your private key or your credentials for your S3 bucket for the people to access. So how do you do that? So Amazon provides this option called as S3 pre-signed URL. So what happens is when you request for a pre-signed URL, it takes your credentials and signs the URL with a secure token and it also adds an expiry as well. Say for example, you can say that URL expires in 10 seconds and after that people cannot access that S3 object. So I'm going to show you how you can do this in your own uh, S3 bucket. Let us go ahead and see how to do this using the AWS CLI first. Here we are in the S3 dashboard and you can see here I have a bucket called as our secure private bucket and then there are a few objects that are called as S3 PNG signed URL dot PNG index dot HTML. So we are going to generate and pre-signed URL for this object called as S3 dot PNG through the CLI. So let's go ahead and do that now. The command to create an S3 signed URL is very simple AWS S3 and then we go ahead and say pre-signed URL and then I just made a mistake it's just one word which says pre-sign and then let us go ahead and do that and then we give it the expiry value we are going to say expires in 10 seconds and then we need to give the S3 path now so my bucket name and then followed by my object so this is how the uh, secure URL looks like so let us go ahead and uh, copy this and put it into our browser and see whether we are able to retrieve the object without giving any credentials or without making the object public I'm going to use the Chrome incognito mode so that uh, we don't have a cache problem here see the URL has already expired by the time I moved in so let me go ahead and generate another one you can see here the request has expired I'm just going to generate another URL here this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it to 20 seconds so that we can go ahead and copy paste it into our browser So once everything is in order, you should be able to see the object that is uh, getting loaded from my S3 bucket directly. So I can go ahead and do that for an, um, another file. Let us try another file now. So I have another file called as pre-signer. I'm just going to make So we've got the URL here. I'm just going to copy that and put it into my browser now. So this is a simple HTML file I wrote it and within 20 seconds we will not be able to access this file. For example if I go back here and then use a control F5 to refresh my page it is going to give me an error message saying this request has expired. So that is how you generate a pre-signed URL and give it to your clients which they can use it for accessing the objects in your buckets. So you can see here all the URLs get automatically expired. You don't have to do anything special. Just put in the expiry value and it takes care. But if you notice it, it is very difficult to generate it through a CLI and give it to your uh, clients. So you can also do this programmatically. I have written a simple code which uh, can help you do that. Let me demonstrate that as well. So I have written the simple page where you can put in the bucket name and then the object and then I'm going to con get pre-signed URL. Automatically it is going to get the pre-signed URL and load it here. And if I want to know the URL also, if I just go ahead and open it, you see the image gets loaded. And if it is 10 seconds, automatically the image will get expired and I will not be able to access the image. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how 
and where you can uh, run your code and how this uh, entire application uses the SDKs and generates it. So this was done for a customer requirement and keep watching this space. I'll show you the customer requirement and how this was done for that customer and what are all the things that we need to look into it. So put in the comment section if you have any problems in trying it in your account. I'm happy to help you with them. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.